My name is Karen Palmer and I am the storyteller from the future. And I have come back to work with a company who is integral in creating your future for the better. I work with them to create Riot, the film that watches you back. And I'm just going to give you a context a little bit about the film before I elaborate on the work we did together. Riot uses artificial intelligence and facial recognition and machine learning. And as you watch the film, the film watches you. And depending on your emotions, the film will branch. So if you respond with the film in anger, it will branch differently, have a different narrative branch than if you branch with fear, than if you respond with fear. The Riot user journey starts with an actor who primes you for the experience. It's then a live site installation space, and I'm just going to show you someone talking a little bit about the experience. Let me tell you why this is so great. This is just one room. It's less than 100 square feet. Mm -hmm. Yet we're able to use sensory and video, lights, the smells, the textures of this on the ground. It all brings you to the world, and you're completely immersed. Even though we're not in a riot, you're in a riot right here. Not in a riot, in a riot. So you're surrounded by ambisonic sound and the film is projected and the webcam watches you back. This is quite an intense experience and I'm just going to show you some participants. Sometimes it's destructive to the people who are fighting for justice, you know, because we were allowed to only do these things inside our other communities and the bricks into the world. Your hand started oh, going yeah. in and out like this, then your chest popped up, then the back yeah. of your neck just like just pulse. flicker, pulse. I am in like machine mode, like I will do anything to achieve my mission and protect my people. So I was both very powerful and vulnerable. Okay, then why did I see what's frightening? Yeah, right, and then I can always come back for the second part. I just want to make sure. I mean, either way. So the right experiences uses as well as technology, behavioral psychology, neuroscience, mindfulness, and the parkour philosophy of moving through fear. In the times of global unrest that we're currently living in, I'm currently using art and storytelling and technology in a way to empower and inspire the user. We're living in an unprecedented time, in my lifetime, of global social unrest. And this experience, by putting someone in the middle of a riot and how the film responds to their emotion, giving them a very deep insight into how they feel and their subconscious behavior. I wanted the film to be almost a receiver, um, a reflection of their emotional state of mind. And as I said, it's very much inspired by parkour, because often in the times we're living at the moment, there's lots of this person, that person, hate, anxiety, and fear. But to me, it's very much about empowering the self and moving through our own personal sense of fear. So I worked with Brunel University London for the past year, and then I came to New York where I did a TED residency and a ThoughtWorks AI artist in residency last September. Now, you know ThoughtWorks and ThoughtWorkers as a technology company. However, in the future, we know them for who they really are, a conscious, evolved form of human beings who in the day focus on technology and more commercial wares, but in the evening use the most powerful form of communication technology to make a difference to mankind. I work with them to develop machine learning and artificial intelligence and develop on the current riot prototype. We created a new neural net, and I'm going to tell you, show you a little bit of film just to make it more obvious as to exactly what that is. I'm Angelica Perez, and I'm the lead developer on Riot in the arts residency for ThoughtWorks. We are creating a facial expression data set to create a neural net that can predict facial expression emotion. A data set is a collection of data samples that come with classifications. A neural net is a computer algorithm modeled after the connections in the human brain. And a neural net learns how to perform a task by analyzing examples of that task and learning to replicate them. What we basically did at ThoughtWorks is that we created an AI together, a machine learning data set that we built a library of expressions, a new library with new emotions. And while through doing that, we became very aware that no AI system 
is not biased because it's all programmed by a human being and their own, own unique perspective. And we spent a lot of time researching that and looking at examples within the criminal justice system where there's AIs out there which is currently supporting judges to determine lengths of, um, lengths of prison sentences for potential convicts. And these systems don't have any, any policies overriding them because they're private systems. So we did a lot of work into it, and that's why it was very important to be at ThoughtWorks, because not only are they exemplary in what they do, but they have a strong social justice ethos, and they have a strong conscience in what they're doing as well. I also work with behavioral psychologists at NYU University, um, and we looked at behavioral psychology, and how when they studied view observers watching police dash cam footage of police brutality, where their eye tracking went determined their bias or where their empathy lay. So if a cop was attacking somebody, a civilian, and their eye tracking was following the perspective of the cop, they would be more empathetic with the cop. And if their eye tracking was following the person being brutalized, they proved to be more sympathetic with that person. It basically proved to us that people are often looking at different parts of the screen of the same image. And that's why they have two completely different interpretations of the same event. So we realized that through this potential experience that we might be able to influence people's perception through behavioral psychology, artificial intelligence, and facial recognition. Now, I, this might be a bit mind-blowing for some of you, but that is not a bad thing because we're really the next level in what we're doing. And all you really need to understand is that we're here to make a change. As part of that change, we developed an open source. It's very important for us to be democratizing AI and be completely transparent in what we're doing. So we created the Riot system and we created an AI that connects with it. And then we took off the Riot film and we said to the community, would you like the AI? Would you like to have this AI to put in your back pocket? We don't want this to only be accessible to certain institutions or organizations. We're at a time where AI should be available to all. So as I move on to develop the final iteration, I'm really just here to let you know that normally when I do these talks, at the end I do a call for action. But with ThoughtWorks, they've already heard that call. So all I'm going to say is that continue to be a part of what they're doing, because in the future, they're really making a change. Thank you.